So Bayern Munich have won the treble for the second time in their history, beating PSG in this year's Champions League final. Bayern were literally perfect in the Champions League this year, winning every single game and humiliating Barcelona 8-2 in the process. Of course, there's no denying that Bayern are currently the best team in the world and probably by a pretty big margin, but what if they faced the 2015 treble winning Barcelona side which had the likes of Iniesta, a prime Luis Suarez, Neymar as well, Dani Alves at the back. That Barcelona side was truly something special and it would be a matchup between two treble winning sides. Who would come out on top? Well, that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. It's been a while since we've done one of these FIFA 20 experiment videos, but basically what we're going to be doing in this one is we'll be putting the 2015 Barcelona side up against the 2020 Bayern team in a computer versus computer match to find out which team comes out on top. If you guys do enjoy these FIFA 20 experiments, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new around here, and let's get this underway. First up, let's take a look at Hansi Flick's Bayern Munich team. And first of all, a lot of credit to Flick because he came in at a time where Bayern was struggling, but he then just completely turned things around and now Bayern are basically an unstoppable machine. Now, Bayern usually go with a 4-2-3-1 formation, but on the pitch, it sometimes does transform into a 4-3-3, but we're going to stick with the 4-2-3-1 for this one. Robert Lewandowski, not a bad player to start off the team. I mean, unbelievable talent. The best number nine in the world, in my opinion, at the moment. And come on, France football, just bring the Ballon d'Or back for this year and award it to this man because his stats are just outrageous. And what he offers on the pitch is just unbelievable. He deserves the Ballon d'Or this year. Thomas Muller, I think one of the most underrated players of all time. Kingsley Coman and Nabri offer so much pace down the wings and so much talent to cross the ball in, cut inside even. Again, this team is so, so complete. In the midfield, you've got another player that I think is so, so underrated in Thiago. Why did Barcelona let him go? Just one of their worst transfer decisions. Leon Goretzka completes the midfield. Such a strong player to have. And now moving to the back line, Alfonso Davies. This guy, how is he 77 rated? He should be at the minimum 83 on FIFA 21 because he is, I think, the world's best left back at the moment. Like, Robertson is close, but I'm going to pick Davies if I had to. And he's just a phenomenal footballer. We saw how he humiliated Semedo in that game. A quality fullback. Alaba and Boateng complete the defense with Kimmich as well as the right back. Another super versatile player. And of course, you've got Manuel Neuer in goal. I think he is the greatest keeper of all time as well. This team is just so, so complete. Of course, Bayern are a big club and hence they do have a strong bench with Perisic, Coutinho, Pavard, Tolisso, Lucas Hernandez, Sula and Ulrich completing the bench. Now, Felipe Coutinho, we need to have a dialogue about him. Barcelona have been completely mugged off. I mean, the fact that he scored a brace against them is just hilarious. As a Barca fan, it personally hurts, but it is what it is, I guess. Coutinho has done well for himself, so can only give him credit. And now we're taking a look at the Barcelona team from back in 2015, coached by Luis Enrique. What a team this was. The good old days of MSN, Messi, Suarez and Neymar. And by the way, the ratings of all the players in this team have been adjusted to what they were back in 2015, I think on FIFA 15. So yeah, we're going to keep things really accurate in today's experiment. Obviously, we know everything about this attack. It was just outrageous to watch and Messi won the Ballon d'Or that year. But that midfield that they had was also really, really good. Iniesta, Rakitic and Busquets, a very efficient midfield. Iniesta in his prime. And when you've got a player like Xavi on the bench as well, that really helps. But that year, Rakitic had taken Xavi's spot in the first team. Now, moving to the back line, Alba... Mascherano, a real leader that Barcelona desperately lacked these days. Pique and Dani Alves, one of the best fullbacks this sport has ever seen. And then you've got Mark andre de Stegen in goal. Barcelona's bench is definitely a bit weaker than Bayern, that's for sure. Pedro, Xavi, probably the best players on here. Roberto is decent, Marc Batra. Remember back then, Claudio Bravo was the Barcelona keeper just for La Liga. Ter Stegen played in the Champions League. All right, it's now time to kick off the experiment. We're going to be putting both teams in a Champions League final. 2015 Barca up against 2020 Bayern. Let's see which team wins. Also, to spice things up, we do have the new kits for next season. So we're going to see them in action in this video. Barcelona, Bayern Munich. Now in real life when this game happened in 2020, it was humiliation for Barca, but now this is the 2015 Barca team. A lot better, 
lot many better players in the lineup as well so it could be a different outcome but both world-class teams on the pitch here so it's going to be an interesting experiment to see which team comes out on top a lot of different matchups as well Manuel Neuer up against the Stegen we've got a prime Luis Suarez up against Lewandowski the wingers of Bayern up against Neymar and Messi should be interesting as well this should be a fun one. Let's see what happens on the pitch. Honestly, looking at this Barcelona team from back in the day, I, I genuinely feel Javier Mascherano is one of the most underrated players Barcelona have had because he led that back line along with Pique because I don't think Pique is like a proper leader to, you know, lead the back line, whereas Javier Mascherano was and Barcelona have really missed him. Also, before we get the game underway, in the comments section, let me know what would happen if this matchup would have happened in real life. 2015 Barca or 2020 Bayern, who would you be putting your money on? If I'm being honest, I'd be putting my money on Barca because that year they were just truly special and they did beat Bayern in that season. I think it was 5-2 on aggregate, so yeah. But first chance already falling Bayern's way. Cleared away though by Dani Alves, already showing why he was so important to the Barca team. Serge Gnabry looking for a cross for Lewandowski. Oh, big header from Mascherano to get the ball away. Already Bayern crossing the ball in to create chances. That Barcelona team was also suspect to crosses, so they've got to find a way to deal with that and get the ball forward to MSN. Oh, here goes Neymar on the attack now with pace. Are we going to see MSN link up? He goes backwards for Jordi Alba. Still Alba brings it inside well. Could go backwards for Neymar. Instead finds Iniesta. That's more like Barcelona. Passing it quickly and moving the ball really well. Good passing between Alba, Iniesta and Sergio Busquets. Iniesta now finds Rakitic. Still Rakitic there. Bring space inside for Leo Messi who could find space and shoot. Looks for the pass for Neymar who might still get it but Nabri tracks back and defends. That was a bit comedic because I don't know what Nabri was trying to do there. By the way, if you haven't realized already, players like Dani Alves and Xavi aren't on FIFA 20 so I had to create them manually. I've tried to make them look as realistic as possible but they might look a bit different to their real life counterparts because that's just how the creator player mechanic is on FIFA. Here's Kingsley Coman going inside for Goretzka. The German looks back for Coman. Ooh, Dani Alves. He's been so, so good in this game. That just goes to show how Barcelona have regressed by signing Semedo instead of like finding a proper replacement for Alves because Alves was just a different breed, a different kind of player. Busquets on the ball, looks for Leo Messi. Messi finds Neymar, it's beautiful play from both Messi and Neymar as the cross comes in, but Joshua Kimmich just about gets it away. Barca's first big chance and they almost scored off it. Now it's Andres Iniesta with the volley. That was one hell of an attempt from the Spanish magician. Manuel Neuer up to the mark as well. Have a look at that from Andres Iniesta. And by the way, I don't know why the kit numbers are messed up. I do remember putting Iniesta on number eight, but that's just EA for you. Oh, here's Thiago with space. Looks for Goretzka. Back to Thiago now. Goes for the goal. Ooh, that was so close. So close from the former La Masia graduate. As he almost put Bayern into the lead here. Ter Stegen was not in a good position to save that. And that was so, so close to being 1-0 Bayern. I'm surprised it's a 0-0 because both teams are known for their attacking quality. We haven't really seen much from Lewandowski, Messi or even Neymar for that matter. Let's hope the second half can be a bit more exciting. I mean, both teams have literally just had one shot in this entire first half. That needs to change, but Barcelona have edged the possession battle by just a bit. Oh, Barcelona with a bit of space to exploit as here's Neymar down the wings. He's got acres of space to exploit. What can Neymar do from here? Here goes the Brazilian. Still Neymar. Could find a pass in for maybe Iniesta or someone, but what has he done there? That is awful from Neymar. He should have just gone for the cutback. Instead, he overplayed things and well... The chance is now gone. Alfonso Davies now looking for Robert Lewandowski. Finds Thiago. Thiago came really close to scoring in that first half. Now Lewandowski sees Goretzka. Big chance now for Thomas Muller. Could score. Muller finds Lewandowski. And it just had to be Robert Lewandowski. The Polishman scores and puts Bayern up by a goal. Barcelona caught napping there. They had a big chance on the other end with Neymar. They bottled Robert Lewandowski. Right place, right time. He should be winning the Ballon d'Or in 2020, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But yeah, he's put Bayern up by a goal and now the game should open up because Barcelona are a goal down and they need to push forward. PK again, what on earth was he doing there? Mascherano as well, not marking Lewandowski. A simple tap in for him. Messi taking the corner, puts it in, but that's not going to work. Barcelona aren't going to be scoring off a corner. If they need to score, they need to be precise with their passing. Here's PK. looks back for Iniesta, who's really been controlling the midfield. Alba finds Neymar now, who's been 
a disaster in this game, I'm gonna be honest. Still Neymar though. Looks to be Thiago. Tries. Still Neymar. Still Neymar here. Oh my god. Things aren't just working out for Neymar in this one. Similar to what happened in the final in real life. He was dreadful for PSG. Ooh, it's the moment I think we all have been waiting for. Xavi has been brought on for Sergio Busquets. So I think Xavi is going to be playing in that CDM role, which should be interesting. Also, Perisic comes on for Nabri. Can Xavi help change the game? We'll see. Here's Luis Suarez. Looks for Neymar. Neymar shoots, and that's Barca's first big chance. Why is Keke Seti and the boss? He should be back on his farm. But anyways, Neymar almost getting the equaliser for Barca. Muller goes inwards for Goretzka. Could be another goal here for Bayern, but that's a big block from Barca. But they might still have a chance here. Thiago almost making it 2-0 for Bayern. As Coutinho has been brought on, he almost assisted instantly after being brought on. So, yeah, Barcelona struggling in the game now. They've, they've got not much time left as well. We'll see what happens now. There's so much space here for Neymar as Alves sends him through. Can this be the moment for Neymar? He's been dreadful all game long. Once again decides to take the ball backwards. What on earth is Neymar doing here? He's literally had... He had acres of space to exploit. Instead goes backwards. Although now Messi on the ball. Looks for Rakitic. Now Luis Suarez. Back to Rakitic. Rakitic. Oh my god. He's just giving it away. Just like that. Bayern are winning this. There's no way Barca are mounting a comeback. Because they are just terrible here. At least on FIFA 20. Oh this might be it for Leo Messi. This might be the chance. Barca fans have been waiting for Leo Messi. Cut back to Suarez. Now it's Neymar. No Neymar. No. What have you done there? In the 90th minute of a Champions League final. He's done that. Why not just go for goal? Oh Neymar's completely bottled it there. And that might be it for Barca. That might really be it. Neymar's just had a shocker. Messi looking for the cross. Oh, uh, Iniesta. Iniesta might have a chance. Lobs it. Rakitic. What, what, what are they trying to do? I'm confused watching Barcelona play here. Cross comes in. Boateng gets it away. They're, try <laughs> they're trying to like flick up the ball and pass it with each other. And while Bayern have just taken home the trophy. Well, there you go. According to FIFA 20, the 2020 Bayern team are just an unstoppable machine. And they'd even win against a very, very good 2015 Barcelona team by... Just a goal. Lewandowski scored the only goal of this game. Just sums up his year. Ballon d'Or worthy. But anyways, with that, the video comes to a conclusion. The FIFA 20 experiment today gives us the result of Bayern being crowned champions of Europe. So I'm not surprised, to be fair. This team that they have is just simply a machine, a well-oiled machine. And fair enough, they've won. But with that, the video comes to an end. If you guys have enjoyed, drop a like in the video. Subscribe if you are new around here. And well, I'll catch you all next time.